Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have a very interesting figure to take a look at today. It is an older figure from Collect Day, and it is their deluxe Brachiosaurus. It's a figure I was really interested in getting a hold of, and I only recently acquired one. I've actually wanted one for a very long time, because again, we don't have all that many large sauropod figures out there, so... This one was definitely one that was on my want list for quite some time and now having it here. It is quite an interesting looking figure. A very different take, I would say, for a Brachiosaurus. And I would love to see Collect A take a shot at one again at some point in the future because I feel like they could do a much better job now compared to when this figure was made. But with that being said, it's still a very cool looking figure and one that, again, I'm pretty excited to take a look at with you guys. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of the Brachiosaurus, you can see it has some pretty interesting looking skin texture to it, but again, it's not near as good as we would see currently from uh, Collect Day if they were to make one. You can see the ear is present right there, and uh, a very weird look to the head sculpt of this Brachiosaurus would be this like orangish area of the Brachiosaurus, and you can actually see that on both sides, so it's very interesting that Collect Day chose to make it look like this. It's such a different look compared to pretty much any other Brachiosaurus that I've ever seen. I'm not entirely sure what the motivation behind that area was. If there's just something that I've never heard of as far as like what the reason would be to create the Brachiosaurus to look like that. But it's so weird. It's so strange. But actually, I mean, it's kind of appealing because it looks so different than most Brachiosaurus figures. So it really differentiates it from others. But uh, again, it's definitely a very strange look for the figure, but at the same time, somewhat appealing looking. And then another area of the figure, which I find to be kind of strange, is the fact that the eyes are painted, but they're painted with a reddish coloration. There is no pupil to the eyes at all. It's just a red. And I feel like a red coloration for a Brachiosaurus is kind of a strange color for the eyes. And it almost now makes the Brachiosaurus look kind of like a predator, as opposed to a nice, big, gentle beautiful sauropod he kind of looks like he wants to bite me now as opposed to be my friend like the brachiosaurus in jurassic park but you can see the teeth as well are okay i mean they're decently painted which is a plus you can see that on something like this with like a mouth that's only partially opened there is a lot of room for error if i can get the head in here because the neck is so long it's kind of in an awkward position but Again, there's a lot of room for error on a mouth like that as far as messing up the paint application, but they've done a pretty decent job as far as painting those areas out quite nicely. If I can get the head around now into this position there, we could probably see it a little better there. But again, you can see that reddish coloration for the eye is just very strange to me. It was a weird decision for both this kind of uh, weird orangish area as well as the red eye paint. But as we start to move down the neck, you can see some really nice scale detail to the dinosaur and you can see that overall it appears to have been given a nice dark wash to make all that detail pop and I love the way that they've sculpted out the neck because the neck is actually turned facing behind the Brachiosaurus which I think is a pretty cool position overall a nice pose for the figure but you can see how beautiful of a job they've done of really showing like the twist in the skin that turn in the skin and displaying it with the figure like you can really see the skin twisting in pretty much every area so I must say kudos to Collect A for really portraying the turn in the neck so beautifully. And you can see that even here in the throat region, how nice that turn in the neck looks. It's really, really nicely displayed on the model. And again, the texturing to the skin looks good the entire way down, especially due to that dark wash, which allows the detail to pop beautifully. You can also see the throat region of the Brachiosaurus is nicely present as his head hits the backdrop there because he's so big. And then as we get down, of course, the neck gets bulkier as we get closer to the base of the body here. Of course, the neck gets bulkier as we move down closer into the body. You can see like kind of like some skin wrinkles and stuff right down here as you actually reach the body. And once you get down here into the body, you can see in general the dinosaur looks very big, very muscular, just an overall massive beast of a dinosaur. You could just see such a large size to the figure over all. And you can see that the body is like a greenish coloration kind of like with hints of brown but there's also like some really cool areas of blue that pop through which is a surprisingly nice look for the figure. Nice and colorful as far as that goes but at the same time managing to have that very cool kind of like a darker sauropod like look. 
you can definitely see some beautiful wrinkling in the skin right here just generally like showing some of the movement of the body although the dinosaur isn't in any type of a dramatic position but you can see some nice muscle tone as we move down the front leg as well as some osteoderms picking up here and there the elbow is present right there the foot sculpt looks pretty good down here if i can get it into position there we go we can see the nail is nicely painted for the most part giving a nice brownish coloration overall that looks pretty good and you can see some more creasing going on right here and kind of like the joint of the elbow as well as some more of the brachiosaurus here in the chest region just looking very large some nice skin folds and skin wrinkles and stuff right there coming back into the stomach region you can see there's definitely some nice girth to the dinosaur so it's nice and healthy looking you can see again some beautiful scale detail all throughout the entire stomach region of the brachiosaurus once you move up here to the back you can see the hip bone a little bit right there you can also kind of make out the spinal column running the course of the dinosaur some more really nice muscle tone here on the rear leg as well as some more nice wrinkling back here in the back of the knee and the kneecap present in the front the foot sculpt looks pretty fun down here again nicely painted we have the nails right here that are painted with a brownish coloration it's uh not the best i will say it's okay i guess but it's definitely could have been a little better again if collect a currently created a brachiosaurus it would be way better than what we see here but this figure is still pretty fun regardless and then we move out the length of the tail here you can see some creasing going on not too much going on as far as showing the different movement in the body but what is present down here looks pretty good and you can see some uh, nice scale details we move out the length of the tail again brought out really nicely with that dark wash now looking at it from the opposing side again there's not too much difference going on in the sculpt because it's just kind of standing here looking back behind it but you could see the musculature of the body is really nicely displayed throughout this front leg over here and you can pick up on the shoulder blade and everything up here on the upper part of the leg and uh, really nice structure to the leg i'll say that and then you can see the elbow is present over here as well as some nice creasing because it appears as though this leg is actually just starting to lift up off of the ground and you can see how it's kind of folding the skin back there that's really cool little detail in that area you can see the foot sculpt looks pretty good over here again nicely painted detail wise you don't see too much difference on this side in the stomach region compared to what we had seen on the previous side again some more like skin wrinkles and stuff going on you can kind of see the skin stretching a little bit more over here because this leg's pulled back a little further than the one on the opposing side but it's not too different in comparison and again some nice mixtures of like blues and browns and even like slight hints of greens and stuff throughout the dinosaur and you can really see that nicely applied in the stomach region nice and naturally painted the paint application definitely looks like body color instead of like paint on a figure and you can see the hip bone again some nice musculature here on the rear leg the kneecap yet again is present and we have the decent looking foot sculpt i'm not super sold on the rear foot sculpt here but it looks okay and then we come back here into the tail again nice curve to the tail overall the detailing aspect looks pretty good back here and then if we turn the dinosaur upside down here we look at the underside we can see again some more decent detailing and actually right there we can see the 2010 stamp here on the underside so we know this brachiosaurus has been out for a very long time so it's forgivable that it's not your most accurate brachiosaurus and also that it's not as nicely detailed as what we see nowadays from collect a but i really quite like it actually because again it's so unique looking so different compared to so many other brachiosaurus figures and it's just in general a really cool piece of collect a history so it's a very very fun brachiosaurus size wise it's definitely a big one so for a height and i'm sorry if it's a little shaky because i have to hold the camera with one hand and the tape with the other hand but for a height you're looking at about the 11 and a half inch range or about the 29 and a half yeah just a little under actually a little over 29 centimeters for a height as far as a length goes we're going to kind of reposition the camera and then i'll just run from the head to the tail down here we'll look at the tail area so if we go from like the furthest part of the neck to the tail about 13 inches actually if we go down here it's about 13 and a half inches or about the 34 centimeter range somewhere in that area but for a size comparison to show you the pretty darn big size of the figure there is the collect a deluxe brachiosaurus in comparison to mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon from the metal jurassic world toy line and once we come down here and get kind of level with the figures you can really see how big 
that Brachiosaurus is overall. It absolutely towers over each and every figure that we have here for a comparison. Again, showing you that this Brachiosaurus is definitely massive. Probably one of, if not the biggest collective figures that they have out currently. The only thing rivaling this would probably be the large Pterosaurs, I would say, but definitely a very large Collect Day figure. So this Collect Day Deluxe 2010 Brachiosaurus is definitely an interesting figure, and I actually quite like it a lot. Again, it's so different than so many other Brachiosaurus figures, and I feel like that's one of the more appealing factors to the figure. One of the reasons I was so drawn to it and I wanted to get a hold of it for so long, unfortunately, again, it is a bit outdated being that it's from 2010. The figure is 11 years old at this point. And Collect Day has just gotten drastically better each and every year, especially in the last like five or six years. They've just been killing it with each and every year as far as their figures go. So this one's, again, outdated just based off of like the time that it was created, but also based off of how good Collect Day has become currently. So taking all that into consideration, it's still a really impressive figure. Size-wise, it's huge. It's really big. Very impressive size for a Collect Day figure, but even sculpt-wise, again, I love the way they've sculpted out that kind of bend in the turn in the neck. It's beautifully done, very nicely detailed, really showing the movement of the skin and the bending of the skin perfectly in the neck region of the Brachiosaurus. It's such a really appealing factor of this figure. And uh, I really quite like the way that they've sculpted out the rest of the body as well. Like they've done a really good job on the scale detail and giving it that nice dark wash allows for the detail to pop beautifully, but also for the overall figure to look very realistic and lifelike. And they've applied paint beautifully to it as well with like many different tones of like lighter and darker, almost like a greenish brown in certain areas. And then a little bit of like darker browns and then there's some blues and it's just a really cool look for a sauropod and a really nice and natural look for the figure overall. The head sculpt is extremely unique and the orangish areas to the head allow it to have a little bit of flashiness, but at the same time, it's a very strange look for a Brachiosaurus, but I do kind of dig it. The eyes being red, I think, are probably my biggest downside for the figure. I don't like that the eyes are red, again, kind of giving it more of like a mean, sort of a predator type of a look, as opposed to a gentle giant look like I would expect it to have. So the reddish eyes definitely are not my first choice as far as what I would give a sauropod, and the fact that there are no pupils on the eye also is kind of strange. The teeth are actually painted pretty decently, although they almost look more like carnivorous dinosaur teeth as opposed to, you know, a herbivore type teeth, but they're actually nicely painted for being like a dinosaur that just has its mouth open ever so slightly and you can kind of see the teeth a little bit. Like, it's impressively well painted for the look and the style of the figure that we have here before us. So again, it's an outdated figure by both Collect Day standards and just scientific accuracy in general, but it's still a really cool piece of dinosaur figure history, a really cool piece of Collect Day figure history, and in general, a pretty darn unique look and interesting look for a Brachiosaurus that I quite like. And on top of all of that, it's a large sauropod figure, so it's automatically pretty cool in general. So if you would like to pick this up, I will include a link in the description to where you can do that on everythingdinosaur.com. So make sure you check the description. Go buy this very cool Brachiosaurus from Everything Dinosaur and Collect Day. And make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.